Amy babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We're kind of in a new setting. You guys have seen this area before, but I never really film here that often. I honestly have no idea how this lighting situation is going to be. I'm using an artificial light, but I also have my windows blinds open however this is the awkward part because this is on the base level of the house it faces like another house and the street so whoever walks by can see me filming myself with this bright ring light on this video is so special to me to film because i've never filmed a video about reading or books that i like i have become a major bookworm or a kindle bookworm ebooks whatever it's been my favorite pastime activity i have been obsessed with reading every time I get off work. It's become a part of my daily routine and I'm so proud of myself because I have not read a single book since college, you guys. <laughs> that was quite a few years ago. So I feel a little embarrassed to say that I cannot name a single book that I read after college until like now. However, I did read so many books. Well, at least for me, there are so many. In the past three to four months, I wanted to film this video to celebrate the fact that I am reading now and I'm obsessed with it. I am also obsessed with my Kindle and I'll link literally everything that I mentioned in today's video in the description in case you guys are wondering because whenever I see someone's Kindle and they decorated it super well, I'm always curious about where they got their case, their stickers and all of that stuff. So I will definitely link all of it and my exact Kindle that I own as well because this changed my life you guys i really didn't think much of it when i purchased the kindle i have the oasis 10th generation i bought it off of amazon the case i have on here isn't this the most adorable thing you've ever seen <laughs> it is uh from etsy it also came with this like little hand finger strap so that you can easily hold it so let's get started i'm going to actually open up my goodreads because i am adamant and very consistent with recording how many pages or what percentage of the book that i get through every single time that i read so it tells me exactly when i started and finished my books which is amazing that's my favorite feature of goodreads i will also link my profile if you want to follow me on there i don't have like any friends on goodreads because literally i just started reading guys okay just in the month of october i read four books i read three books prior to october i started reading at the beginning of this year but but then I had a reading slump from the months of like February all the way to I want to say like September. Now I am on my eighth book of this year, which is such an improvement for me. So I am proud of that little number. I'm definitely going to try to increase it next year. The current book that I'm reading right now is on my Kindle. And I think I am going to buy a physical copy of the book because I feel like it's going to be one of my favorites. I haven't finished it yet. So I'm waiting until I finish it to see if my thoughts change, but I don't think it will because I'm 80% done with the book, a little bit more than 80% done. It's just stolen my heart. I read this review on goodreads and someone described it as like this book will break your heart put it back together and then break it all over again and that's exactly how i feel you're just like rooting for the characters so much and you see all these things happen to them like all these tragedies and uh their relationship develop and it's just it's a gem i'm kind of late to the party but i'm so glad that i am finally getting to it and i love the fact that one of the main characters is i think half korean and it's just i don't know i'm 100 I'm korean a lot of the words and references that they made i were, was able to understand it so clearly it's such a complicated complex plot and it's very thought-provoking i've never read a book like this before it is so fascinating so i highly recommend it if you guys haven't read it already i have a feeling that it's going to be one of my favorite books and i'm going to buy a physical copy speaking of physical copies of books i wanted to do a mini book haul i really love the feel and the look and the smell of physical books new ones not library books those have a very distinct icky smell but <laughs> new books i love the smell of i created this ritual to buy my all-time favorite books so that i can create like a very cute 
cozy book nook in my house. I did buy the physical copies of my favorite books that I've read in the past three to four months. So I wanted to show you what I bought. And I bought all of my books on Amazon. I think moving forward, I might try to actually go to Barnes and Nobles every time I finish a book that is a five-star read to get the physical copy from there because the experience is just so much better. I have four to show you and they are right here. Oh my gosh, these make me so, so happy. The first one I'll show you is Verity by Colleen Hoover. Such a good book. If you like thriller, romance, suspense type of genre, you will really, really love this. I think this book is one of the very few thrillers by Colleen Hoover, and I think she did a fabulous job. It's very polarizing. I find a lot of reviews say that they hate this book or they love this book. There's no in the middle. There's no gray area with Verity. I think I finished this in three days and I am not a fast reader. And I was able to get through this in three days. I was shocked. I have recommended this book to all of my friends. Like they need to read it. <laughs> my friend Courtney is actually reading, uh, going to read this next and I cannot wait to talk about it with her. This book is very, very weird. You are definitely going to have strong feelings about it. Basically, this is about the main character, Lowen, who is a struggling writer, but she gets hired by this really famous author to write the next book in her series. So she has to go to the author's house to do some research on how to write this book, right? She knows she's a famous author and she's married, but something really tragic happens in that household. And when she arrives, she uncovers so many weird secrets and disturbing things. I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't want to give away too much. This plot will just keep you on your toes and keep you very interested the entire way. It was so fast and easy to read. I also did appreciate the twist at the end. I know a lot of people hated that twist and how it ended, but I love I don't know cliffhangers. <laughs> just prepare yourself for that. I would read this again. Like that's how much I love this book. I also have on that note, one by one, this is also a thriller. This one is so good, it's by Ruth Ware. I wanna read more of her books as well because she has a lot of thrillers. I think this is one of the books that got me back into reading, so I have a special place for this. It is very, very dark. Um, it's a little gory, so if you don't like that, then stay away from it but it just kept me on my toes. The writing style is a little complicated, so it'll take a little bit of getting used to. At first I was like, wait, what, who is narrating? But it makes sense after you read a couple chapters. It's about a business group on this retreat to a ski resort, and a lot of shit happens, a lot of deaths, a lot of killing. You're trying to find the murderer at the end, so it's so, so good. I have The Court of Thorns and Roses, and this one is, oh my gosh, I am still thinking about this book. <laughs> my friend actually recommended this to me because she is a huge fan of romanticy books. I didn't even know what that was. If you like books about fairies, about magic, about romance, beasts, all of that stuff, you will love this book, I feel. My friend described this book so accurately. It's kind of like a Beauty and the Beast concept. Also, I'm so sorry. I am horrible at describing and summarizing books, as you could tell from this video. I'm trying my best. This is my first time doing something like this, so please be patient with me. Basically, this is about a girl who accidentally, not really accidentally, but she kills a beast in the woods, and she doesn't realize that this beast is someone's dear friend. She continues on with her life thinking that it was just a wolf that she killed in the wild and she does these hunts because she's trying to take care of her family. Her family is very, very poor. They cannot take care of themselves. She is acting like the caretaker of everyone in the household. One day, she gets kidnapped by the beast who is inferior, inferior, furious. Why can I not say that word? By the fact that she killed his friend. The only way for her to repay for the death of his friend is for her to be kidnapped and live the rest of her life in this fairy world. The whole story is about how she falls in love with the beast who captured her. There's something going on in their world that she is trying to help solve and put an end to, but that means that she is putting herself in major danger. She has to go through all of these trials 
trials and tribulations. Yeah, the ending is so crazy. It's wild. It was a slow burn, I will say. I haven't read any of the other books in this series, so no spoilers in the comments, please. I immediately bought the second book on my Kindle called A Court of Mist and Fury. So that one is on my to be read list TBR, but I need to finish my current book before I get to the second book in this series. I'm kind of weird. I feel like I'm the only person that's like this, but I cannot finish all the books in a series back to back. It's just, I need a break because <laughs> I feel like books and series are usually a little bit on the longer side. I need to switch it up because I will get bored. If you like something sexy, if you like something dark, if you like romance, if you like magic, fantasy, beasts, all of that good stuff, then I would highly, highly recommend this. You probably have heard so many people talk about this already, so I will stop. Next is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book is mainly about the character Evelyn Hugo, who is an iconic Hollywood star. She has a lot of scandals throughout her life, one of which is about the fact that she has had seven husbands. I believe she's now retired and she is ready to tell her full story about her career, how she got there, all about her seven husbands. There are a lot of mysteries about her life that no one knows and everyone is very curious about. She's very reclusive, but she is now ready to tell someone about all of her secrets, how she got to where she is, and all of her lovers and all the stories with it to Monique. Monique is a magazine reporter, so she works for a big firm, and Monique is chosen by Evelyn Hugo herself to write her story. However, there is a huge plot twist in this book where Evelyn Hugo's life intersects with Monique's, so that is like the big reveal at the end. This book I went through in like two to three days as well. I loved her writing style. I felt like Evelyn Hugo was like a real person. I just could not put this book down until I was finished. It was so, so good. I'm really excited to read more of Taylor Jenkins Reid's books. So let me know if you guys have any favorites from that author in the comments. I just switched locations. I put my hair up so I look a little bit different now. I have a poppy and Romper is here with us to hang out. So I just wanted to show you guys what my book rack currently looks like. This will be converted into a book nook. I just have to figure out the situation of where I'm going to place the book nook in my house. The ones in the bottom here are books that I have not read yet, but on my list to read in the future. The ones up at the top are my absolute favorite all-time books that I have physical copies of. I actually realized that I did not show you guys all the books that I actually hauled for this video. I purchased a few more recently that I didn't mention. It ends with us by Colleen Hoover. I just bought a physical copy of this because it is one of my favorite, favorite books. It is so devastating and emotionally triggering, but it was so good. This is one of the books that got me back into reading and got me out of the reading slump. So this honorary mention. I also bought these two books, I believe. Yeah, these ones I already had. I wanted to add to my bookshelf, The Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I read this actually when I was in in high school and I surprisingly really enjoyed it. It's a dystopian novel. It's so dark and creepy and like big brother type of concept, but I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I love like thought provoking kind of dark creepy books. I wanted to read it again now that I'm a little older and probably can understand the story a little bit better. Final book that is part of this haul is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Funny, I also read this in high school because my Spanish teacher at the time, she recommended this book to me. The cover is just so beautiful. I love the artwork on it. It's just very special. It's a very, very short read and, and I remember it to be a very easy read and very inspiring, just kind of like a feel good book. I'm excited to reread this again as well because I don't remember entirely the plot. <laughs> that is it. I have a few books here on the bottom that I haven't read yet that are on my list to read, but I have a couple books here from my book of the month a collaboration and then I have a few other ones that I've already had. They are kind of on the chopping block as well because I only only want to keep physical books of my five star all-time favorite books like the best of the best so once I read these I will only be keeping the physical books 
if I feel that they deserve a spot in my bookshelf. So <laughs> this sounds so pretentious. Even if it's like a four star, I'm probably going to pass it along to a friend so they can read it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is kind of a newer concept on my channel. So thank you so much for allowing me to post and share these types of content with you too. I think I might try to continue this reading wrap up series on my channel, maybe like once a month or once every season because reading has become such a huge part of my life i just want to be able to share that with you too maybe in a future vlog i'll take you guys to barnes and noble with me we can have a little coffee and book date which will be super cute like a romper over there just taking a nap <laughs> i hope you have a wonderful week ahead please like if you haven't already subscribe if you want to stick around and i will talk to you guys in the comments 